Hello, hello! Welcome to another episode of Prehistory in the Dark. I am your host, Darkness the Curse. And before we begin, as always, thank you so much to our generous patrons and my channel members over at our sister channel, History in the Dark. You were the reason why this content remains a big lizard. And today, we're going to be discussing Megalania, otherwise known as Varanus priscus, the largest known species of terrestrial lizard that ever existed. Big chungus! This is the tale of Megalania. Megalania was part of the megafaunal assemblage that inhabited Australia during the Pleistocene, a geological epoch that lasted from 2.58 million years ago to just 11,700 years ago. As I mentioned in the intro, they were the largest terrestrial lizard ever, that we know of anyway, and they reached an estimated length of 3.5 to 7 meters. That's 11.5 to 23 feet. They may have weighed up to 4,000 pounds, or around 1,700 kilograms, and they are thought to have a similar ecology to the modern-day Komodo dragon, which is interesting because they are the current largest lizard on the planet. And the youngest fossil remains we found of them date back to around 50,000 years ago, which is relevant because it means that it is highly likely, if not almost guaranteed, that early humans, the first indigenous settlers of Australia, could have encountered Megalania. This would have been an, an interesting discussion. Just a, just, 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 just a great talk overall. Now, some will point out that Megalania's extinction may therefore be the result of our influence on the environment, but it's worth mentioning that Megalania was already on the decline by the time we showed up, due to competition from other predators in the area, such as the marsupial lion and large crocodiles. Megalania would have been struggling to find food, and our presence would have only made the situation worse, meaning that we weren't the only reason they went extinct, but we probably did help speed it along. Anyway, the first remains of this creature were discovered in 1859, described by Sir Richard Owen, whose name comes up a lot. He noticed three vertebrae of this particular animal from a collection of primarily marsupial bones that were purchased by the British Museum. They'd been collected from the bed of a tributary of the Cotamine River, which is west of Moreton Bay in eastern Australia. He originally called it Megalania prisca, in his paper about the animal, referring to it as Ancient Great Roamer. And he believed it was actually a type of dinosaur at the time, though now we know that it was not, in fact, a dinosaur. It was a lizard. Additionally, Megalania isn't actually a valid genus anymore, as it is considered a junior synonym of Varanus, hence why its scientific name is Varanus priscus. But people still just refer to it as Megalania for short, because it's kind of a cool name. I think that's really the only reason. Size estimates on it vary quite a bit, because we just don't have that many remains on this animal. It used to be thought that it could be as big as 23 feet long, but that's been downgraded to about 15 feet. Its food sources would have been medium to large size animals, including a lot of giant marsupials, like the Diproptodon, or pretty much anything they could have gotten a hold of. It's also worth mentioning, and this is deeply alarming, the Megalania may have indeed been venomous because many of its close relatives, like the Komodo dragon, are known to have toxins secreting oral glands, which is horrifying. Thank you for that. It's already huge, and now it's going to give us a large dose of venom to boot. Wonderful, wonderful. However, this is currently just a theory, as we don't have enough remains to confirm whether it would have been venomous at all. It's just thought that it might have been, because most of its direct relatives are. But then again, it was so big that it may not have had venom, because why? What for? But as I said, we no longer have to worry about getting eaten by this creature, as they are indeed extinct. The youngest remains that we found date back to the late Pleistocene, roughly 50,000 years ago. As I said, it was possible they were on the decline prior to us showing up, we definitely didn't help. And in fact, their muscular mass may not have allowed them to outrun us if we chose to hunt them. And even if the early humans did just choose to avoid them because scary, we probably outcompeted them, taking away most of their major food sources and rendering the entire species extinct. It's sad that they're gone, 
But at the same time, Australia already does have saltwater crocodiles, and, and maybe that's enough for them. Maybe, maybe they don't need another giant lizard. That's all I'm saying. Till next time, this is Darkness, and to bid you all a fond farewell.